live from Las Vegas, it's theCUBE, covering Dell EMC World 2017. Brought to you by Dell EMC. Welcome back here to Las Vegas, live at the Venetian. The Cube continuing our coverage of Dell EMC World 2017, where we're extracting the signal from the noise here on the Cube. Of course, the flagship broadcast outlet for SiliconANGLE TV. I'm John Walls. Good to have you with us here, along with Keith Townsend, who's the principal of CTO Advisors, and joining us now is Arinda Paul, who's a senior consultant of product marketing at Dell EMC. And Arinda, thanks for being with us today. Thank you, John. It's kind of like the uh, Extreme IO X2 uh, hour right now on the Cube. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we just said it's a great uh, on talk, talking about the launch today. Um, you're heavily involved with X2. Just had the first breakout session, and you said you packed the house. Yes, standing room only. So I assume it was a big hit. Uh, what were the customers, if you will, most interested in, and uh, what was your sense of uh, where they were coming from? That's right. Thank you. Yes, we just had our first breakout session, and there was a lot of customer interest, and it was standing room only. Primarily, the, the, the customers wanted to know, obviously, what was great about X, uh, X2, how was it differentiated versus X1, what are the, in terms of speeds and feats, not only about speeds and feats, but also all the features, the software enhancements, everything that we're going to be announcing this week. So, so, uh, so a hungry market. Then. Definitely, definitely. We were, we were, we were um, actually, to be quite honest, it was on top of the lunch hour, so we were not expecting a, <laughs> Very full, very full audience because obviously we are keeping people from the lunches, <laughs> but it, but the interest belied our expe expectation. I mean, we're very happy and surprised. So literally a hungry market then. Definitely. <laughs> Over lunchtime. You're right. <laughs> so I'm going I'm to ask a lazy question. Yes, what sure. was the biggest question coming out of the sessions? As people stood stood around X. Yeah, people people loved all the hardware enhancements that are that that were bringing to market. Uh, there was a lot of. Um, a lot of impromptu, like unsolicited clapping and cheering when we announced that our latest graph, gra our latest GUI, graphical user interface, is going to be without Java. Apparently, that was anticipated for a very long time. So uh, I almost clapped just now. So that's, good. <laughs> yes. that's right. HTML5 was, and we have a lot of enhancements that we've done in the graphical user interface in terms of like intuitive, very context-sensitive um, hints. Right, as as you'd expect on your iPhone, as 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 you're configuring and walking through the menus, we also have uh, uh, a lot of nice reporting, uh, very beautiful um, search capabilities that that that's going to be there for the first time, and people apparently just loved it, especially so, from administration perspective. Any new exciting data services that was a, that weren't available in XIO one that's available in XIO two? Um, in terms of data services, yes, obviously. Like now, now we're going to be um, scale up as well as scale out. So we're going to be multi-dimensionally scaling. So that's going to, and then we we obviously have done a lot of work in terms of like tuning performance, right? Tuning um, data data compression. So you're going to get a lot more compression out of our platform, data reduction out of our platform. Um, so yeah. So o over overall, it's a lot of lot of interest. Right. When's the last time you got spontaneous applause at a presentation? <laughs> when, when, right? I'll tell you, for a skeptical and a discerning customer base as ours, it's hard to get. I imagine. You have to earn it. You had to feel like, hey, we've hit the, we've hit the jackpot here. We did, exactly. So to speak, in Vegas, but uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So look, customer base, I, I've been hearing a lot about cheaper, deeper storage mm -hmm. in XIO2. Mm -hmm. What is the target customer for XIO2? Is, it, is this only for large enterprises or is there a play for the SMB mid-sized company as well? Well, um, you see, like we, we wanted to make X2 the platform of choice for our customers who are, who are primarily interested in, say for example, copy data management. We have been an amazing copy data management machine. Like if you look at our install base today, we have about 1.5 million snapshots or XTMI or virtual copies that are being used. The vast majority of them, well north of 50% of them are actually writable snapshots, so they are being used very differently than primary like dumb backup copies, right, or secondary copies. They are active citizens, right, first class citizens. They're at par with volumes. So copy data management is obviously a big use case for, for, for us. Virtual desktops, VDIs, right? Before we so, get up into VDI, yeah. copy data management, that's yeah. a term that I've heard, but some people might not have heard that term. What, what's copy data management and what's the impact of copy data management to an IT budget, for example? Oh, oh there is a, there's tremendous benefits, right? 
copy data management, when done right, like we do on our platform, really lets you, really lets your IT break the chains of um, out of and 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 like freeze IT right. To, um, and provides for them a lot of business agility so that they're able to make instant copies of the production database virtually at will without any cost, either in terms of time, because they're instant copies, or in terms of occupying spaces, right? So you, could, so you can literally like, like create clones of your data, right? And these clones are perfectly functional clones, so you can write to them, you can read to them, right? As if you production data, right? And that's an amazing capability of itself. And then when you think, oh, by the way, when you're creating these copies, there's zero to no impact to your production performance, okay? Your production performance keeps on being as it is. Now, when you layer on top of that, because of our metadata um, architecture, metadata leveraged architecture, you can make the copies resemble production or make the production resemble the copies. So you, so you can basically like restore, refresh at will. Again, without any impact to production, without any downtime, without literally any, any, any cost whatsoever. So when, when you're able to do this kind of stuff, right, now think about the use case in your typical test and their production environment, right? Production, where you have multiple, one copy of production and then multiple copies for your test engineers, your development engineers, or your analytics copies, right? And all of those copies can be literally like run very close to production, right, because it doesn't cost you hours to basically create these copies or it doesn't take like terabytes of space. So it really truly lets you um, um, add agility to your IT, right? And, and, and basically run your business much more efficiently and fast. So flash storage in general always helped with VDI. Right. It seems like there's a connection between copy data, flash storage, mm -hmm. and VDI. Right. Am I making an assumption here? Um, it's well, VDI. When you think about when you think about it, is copies of desktops, right? But we we um, we don't like like it would be perfect copies if you're not trying to like basically like like uh, customize them, right? Mm -hmm. So we use a slightly different technology, our in, namely our inline deduplication and 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 compression, and how we integrate our inline dedupe and inline um, inline uh, our um, in memory metadata. With, com with VDI specific commands such as VAI X copy, right? Mm -hmm. uh, how you basically clone virtual desktops. So we don't we don't use snapshots to clone the virtual desktops. Instead, we use something called VAI X copy optimized with me inline metadata. But the effect is the same. You can literally create like um, roll out virtual desktops, thousands and thousands of copies of virtual desktops in a really short order, right? And you can manage them, and everything compresses and dedupes very efficiently in a very small optimal footprint. Yeah, what you've, you've heard from your customers today, yeah. um, at least you know, in a brief amount of time, what do you think is going to be the biggest benefit an X1 user is going to find with X2 uh, at the end of the day? Like, what, what do you think is going to be the aha moment for them that's really going to open their eyes as to what how you've impacted their business? Certainly, certainly. So, so, so we have a lot of um, interest. So, we have a lot of e eager customers, and I think the the single of the features that we that were um, long sought after by our customer base, I think they're very happy about the economics of the platform. So, we have significantly reduced the dollar per gigabyte cost to the customer on an effective basis, and it's going to be like one third of what it was on X1. I think people were like literally jumping on their seats when they heard that because not only not, not, don't you have better performance, better data reduction, right? New data services, right. but hey, we just slashed the price Save me 66%. Money. Right. So right. outside of cost savings, new data services, one of the things that I heard is data replication natively. Right. That's a big deal. Walk us through the data replication uh, capability. Yes, yes, so, so this has been, um, so again, if you step back, one of the things that our architecture lets us do, like because of, again, our metadata, um, our foundation, our foundation architecture that's based on metadata, is that we are very, very efficient in doing copies, right? Whether it's VDI copies or, or um, database copies, we are a copy, copy machine, right? When you think of it and step back, replication is a copy problem, right? Because you're creating yet another copy. The only difference is that now the copy is happening outside of your box, right? From one, from, from, from one extreme IO array to another extreme IO array. So what we did was that we leveraged the same foundational architecture, our same architecture, 
to basically not only replicate changes, but actually dedupe changes, right? So now if you, now if you think about um, uh, a global enterprise that has maybe like a multi-site multi replication going on, like four, five, six, seven, eight, up to 16, 32 sites that are replicating to one place, now you, now you can see the power of our architecture, right? So there are, many, there are many advantages. One is that you're only replicating deduplicated changes, so in, in, what I mean by that is if there is a block of data that's already at the target site, you won't need to change, you won't need to replicate that again. All you need to do is copy a metadata, a pointer across, and that gives you like 99% savings, right? That's one. Um, you also change the data transfer problem into a data reduction problem, right? Because now, you, the only data that you have to put on the wire to replicate is everything after dedupe and compression, right? Which, and we get about four to one. So, so you slash your data transfer by 75%. In a global dedupe system, when you have multiple sites replicating to one target site, because of the fact that all sites are deduplicating among themselves, we expect savings to be about 38, up to 38% on average. So savings at the target site, savings on the WAN bandwidth, right, and much faster replication. That's our, that's our solution. That's why they were standing on their seats clapping for you <laughs> yeah, today. That's, that's true, <laughs> that's true. Arenda, thanks for being with us. We, we appreciate the time. Thank Congratulations you Congratulations on a very successful launch, and what I'm sure will be many more spontaneous rounds of applause. We are just getting started, you well. thank you. You bet. Thank, thank you, John. You. Yeah, we continue here on theCUBE, live from Dell EMC World 2017. We're in Las Vegas, back with more in just a bit.